Hey everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Dre and I'm back today with another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own personal DIY that head for under $30. Like when I say under $30, I mean under $30. So it's graduation season as we all know. And you know, everyone likes to show their spirit in different ways for the place where my graduation is gonna be at. You can't have like no noise makers or nothing big like that. And you know, I want my parents to be loud. Like I want them to do something big. So they wanted to do fat heads and stuff. But by the time we got our graduation stuff, cause they want the fat head to be with my cap on by the time we got that it was a couple days like less than a week before graduation and on top of that like y'all know with fat heads it takes a minute to get in so there's no way for me to get it and on top of that fat heads cost a whole lot of money a whole lot so i'm about to be making three fat heads and i'm going to be making some fans as well so like extra stuff for graduation because I want them to be extra. We're gonna jump right into the video. So onto stuff that you need to make your own fat head. Of course you need your prints. So for the fat head portion, I'm doing three of them. And I printed my pictures from Walgreens. Y'all, Walgreens is the truth for pictures. Like I'm telling you, get Walgreens and also get this, install this thing on your browser. It's called Honey. I'll show y'all it, I'll put it up. Honey saves lives, y'all like Honey. It automatically comes on when you're in your checkout of anything and it starts adding in coupons and figuring out which which is the easiest like every single time that I get prints from Walgreens I never pay that much like I got eight prints and I only paid 20 something dollars for it and this is huge like this is a 16 by 20 poster and I got three of these 16 by 20s and then for my fans that I'm making I got um, I got five eight by ten and I only paid like twenty something dollars because I got a six sixty percent off coupon. So I'm telling y'all, Walgreens is the place to go. So make sure you have your pictures, of course, because you need these. And then the other things that you guys will need to make this is of course you want you don't want your stuff to be flimsy or cheap looking. So you need poster board. I got three because I did the dimensions while I was at the store. Three should be enough to make all of mine and if not then i can always go back to the store they only cost a dollar i went to the dollar store and got them you can choose whatever color you want you can get white or black but we just chose to get white just because it was the first one we saw um you also want to make sure you can hold it because like some of you could just use the poster and that's it but we wouldn't be able to hold it with something else so i got painter sticks home depot and lowe's apparently don't do like they don't just give free painter sticks anymore. So we bought these. I have eight things that I'm making. And these come in a pack of three and they were 98 cents each. So I didn't I only paid like I paid less than three dollars for this too because somebody hooked me up with a discount while I was there. So it was like two dollars and something, whatever, because it was just cheaper than what it's supposed to be. Um some other things that you need, of course, you need to cut because you wanna cut your head out of all your stuff you want an exacto knife i know this in the smaller version for other like decorative stuff is called an exacto knife i'm not really sure what they call this because it's the actual like hardware one but you need one of these so you can cut into your phone board you're also going to need a pencil i don't have a pencil right now you don't really need it but it would be helpful to be able to guide yourself when you're cutting on the poster because you really don't want to mess that part up and then now on to how you're going to glue all your stuff onto the poster this is part that i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do for it right now but i'll let you guys know as the video goes on i have three things with me right now i have mod podge because mod podge is easy you could um brush that on there with a paint brush or with a foam brush and then lay your picture on there that's one thing i also have a spray glue and this works it's worked a lot with the other things i've done before in the past i just don't want like i don't know if it's strong enough for these or not, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna do a mixture of all these, and then I also have hot glue. So, like I said, I'll let you guys know what I do end up using, but these are three that I have right now. 
And then in order to get my sticks to stay on to the foam board, I'm also experimenting with that as well. You, if you have like those industrial hardware staplers, you can use those, but I'm not really sure if I want to use a stapler. And we don't have one of those industrial like hardware staplers in our house right now. I don't want to be spending too much, of course. So um, I'm probably either gonna use super glue or the hot glue to get it on and make sure that it stays on. If not, I'll make sure I come back and tell y'all like how I always do. And y'all, when I say I'm making these three things for less than $30, I mean less than $30. Y'all can go on the Fathead websites or any website that you can use to make the big heads and all of that. This probably will cost you maybe $100 at the most, at the, at the least, $100. So $30, y'all, I'm saving y'all a coin for your graduations and for like homecoming, any spirit things where you want to do something really big to, you know, get attention and all of that. So yeah, let's get right into it. This one, for this DIY video, I'm not going to record the whole time because I don't want the video to be super long, but I am going to go and check back in with all y'all. So the first thing that I'm about to do right now is I'm going to take the fat heads and I'm about to cut out my face. And I'll get back with you guys and show y'all how it looks cut and then show y'all the next steps and what I'm going to do. Okay, y'all. So, I am back. I just cut out my big picture. Since, you know, I'm doing these myself, I decided to keep the body of, like, the crest and some of all that of my school. Just because it, it would make it bigger. If I cut just my face out, it would be smaller. So, yeah. I'm going to do it like this. And my next step is I'm going to take, I'm gonna place these on the foam board and I'm going to trace it out with the pencil and then I'm going to cut it with the exacto knife. And then I'll catch back with you guys after that. No, after that, then I'm gonna glue them on with either the Mod Podge, the spray glue or the um, hot glue. But like I said, I'm probably, I'm probably most likely gonna do a combination of all of them just to make sure that it sticks on. And when I'm done with that, then I'll get back on with you guys about my next steps. Okay, y'all. So, I just put the picture on the poster. So, what I did, instead of actually drawing it out, which you can do if you want to be a little bit on the safer side. What I did was I taped the pictures onto the poster board. And then I took the exacto knife and I just like cut through it on the sides and I did that for all three of them. Then I took the picture all the way off so I wouldn't damage the picture. Then I went through the poster board the second time to actually get it all the way cut. And what I used to get the picture onto the post, the phone poster board is the Mod Podge. The Mod Podge actually works pretty good and it keeps it on really good because like it's, Mod Podge is a craft glue so, what? Okay, Mod Podge is a craft glue, so of course it's gonna keep it on. Um, I don't really foresee these coming off unless like you're actively trying to get it off. But if you wanna be a little bit more on the safer side to make sure that it stays on and you don't have to worry about it, you can always go back in with hot glue. So the next thing for me to do for these fat heads are now to add the sticks onto them. So I have the one three pack right here. I'm going to take these out and I think I'm gonna use the hot glue to put them on just to give it that strength. And yeah, you could also use super glue or if you have wood glue, that could also work, but we just don't have any in the house right now. So yeah, and for these, I use one and a half of the foam boards for it. So I'll get back with you guys once I attach the stake to this. Okay, y'all, so it's finally coming together. So all I did was I took the painting mixing sticks and I hot glued them on like I said, and like y'all, this just ain't going nowhere. But if you don't feel like secure, if you don't have hot glue, you can always use um, wood glue like how I said before. If you have any other strong glue, glue you can use that. A rubber cement will also work perfectly fine. Of course, I just didn't have it in the house. So yeah, these are done. Y'all like doing this stuff is like really making me feel like, oh my gosh, like I'm really about to graduate. Like, that's crazy. So big heads are done. Now on to the next thing. 
I didn't want to do a whole bunch of big hits just because I was thinking I'm probably going to be the one to bring them all home after. And where am I going to put a whole bunch of big hits of the same picture? So what I did was I also printed some smaller pictures. These are the 8x10 ones. And these ones just say, congratulations, Driana, that type of stuff. So what I'm going to do with these, I printed, I got five of these done. I'm going to take some poster board and cut them all on here or whatever. And I'm going to make like little fans or whatever. So, you know, you have like your big fat heads and you have little fans for other people as well, just to give a variety, just so everybody feels like they have something, you feel me? So, what I'm about to do is take these onto here and cut them out. These are gonna be easier just because I'm not like, it's just a simple rectangle that I'm cutting out. And then I'm gonna glue them on with the Mod Podge again like how I did with the fat head. Okay y'all, so I just added on all the smaller pictures onto the final board. And I think that's why I'm gonna stop for tonight just because I was looking at these paint sticks and these are like really long for these and I don't want like the stick to be hanging that far down. So tomorrow I'm actually gonna go return these two since I won't need them anymore. And I'm gonna get a smaller pack of like popsicle sticks and those are like a dollar, so that's gonna take a dollar off of all of this stuff that I've been doing. And I'm gonna just use the popsicle stick and add that on to the back. So yeah, I'll I'll get back with you guys to figure out what I do because I probably will just leave it like this. So it's like this, or I might add a popsicle stick on it. But I'll get back with you guys tomorrow once I return these and figure out what I'm gonna do. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, y'all, so I'm back with updates. Hopefully the lighting isn't bad because as y'all can see, it's day now. But, so what I decided to do for the smaller ones, I didn't end up adding anything to it just because I thought it would be cuter like this. You could just hold it da, 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 and adding a stick just too much. Okay, so that's that's basically how it ended. I just decided to leave it like this instead of adding a stick because my mom was like, it's perfectly fine like this. So that's how you make both big heads and little fan pictures for your graduation for under $30. And mind you can also do this for any other occasion, whether it be a sports event and you wanna shout out your favorite athlete or anything. Big heads you can make for anything. And fans, of course, you can make for anything. And this was all under $30, y'all. Now, when you look onto those websites that professionally make them, you tell me, if this is better you tell me in the comments down below because trust me i would do this over buying one of those and when you buy one of those it's like it's thinner it's not as thick and sturdy as this is so that's how you make them and one thing to keep in mind if you make this for graduation or for sports events anything make sure you check with the rules of the facility because for my graduation I didn't know until after the fact that I already made them, but they weren't allowed, although people still brought them in. They weren't allowed in that specific arena just because it was a college arena. They said it messed up with NCAA rules or something of the sort. So make sure you check with the venue before you make them, but because I'm still having a graduation party, I'm still gonna be using these during that as well as like photo ops and all that because I'm having a photo booth, all that good stuff. So they will not be going to waste, but still, just make sure you check with the rules before you make them. But at the end of the day, you didn't spend as much as other people who bought them professionally. So yeah, that's how you make your big hits for under $30. And I made three of them, and these are bigger than actual big hits. So keep that in mind. And as y'all know, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to me if you like this video. Comment some other DIYs down below that you think that I should do because like as I said before, I love doing DIYs. I love making my own stuff because I like knowing what goes behind making things. So if you guys want me to do some more DIYs, make sure you comment some ideas down below and I will make sure that I get to them. Also, like this video if you like this DIY and if you think that this is more cost efficient than buying the actual one. And make sure you go and follow me on all my social medias at I am sincerely Dre. Be on all social media platforms. That's where you'll be able to see all these behind the scenes, everything before the video actually comes on. So yeah, make sure you guys have an amazing day for, to all my 
2019 graduates, y'all. We made it. We are done. We are out. Now let's look into 2023 when we graduate college because your girl is ready. So I hope you guys have an amazing summer because it's summertime now. And if you guys have any summertime videos that you guys want me to do, make sure you guys comment those ideas down below and I'll make sure that I get to them because summer is going to be popping. You feel me? So, as you guys know, I am your girl, Sincerely Judy, and I will see you in the new video. Bye! Bye.